Hey guys, so I'm going to show you guys how I seal up a stainless steel snow globe. Um, let me wipe off all the dust. Hang on. It's been sitting for a day drying, so I want to make sure that there's no dust on it. Okay, so these I got from Stainless Steel Depot. It's just your basic stainless steel cups. Um, this is the easiest way that I have found that I can seal them the first time. I got this needle from <clears throat> the local pharmacy here and the needles work best for me um, because I can control where it goes. I am using fast set. I'm just gonna measure it out really quick. I am using fast set. I'm gonna mix about 15 milliliter to make sure that I have enough so that way if I have leftovers I always have little molds on the standby so I'm just gonna mix this up really quick with these honestly I would rather have because it's fast set I would rather have a little bit too much than not enough at all you also want to have some popsicle sticks or um, sorry I'm watching a metal stir stick on hand because you're going to need that too and I will show you why in just a minute okay so I'm gonna set that to the side make sure that you discard anything that could be hazardous I'm going to suck in some epoxy. I'm going to kind of do it slowly so I can get a good amount in there. I'm going to wipe off the bottom to make sure that I don't make like a huge complete mess. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get it as close as I can without me not being able to see is I just go around and I slowly drop epoxy into the edge. And I just go around the rim. It will move down for you as you go. So if you need to add more, you can. Have some paper towels by you because you're definitely going to make a mess too. At least I do. So that I can wipe off any excess. Okay. I'm going to tap it on the table a little bit because it will have some air bubbles in it. But I also am going to wipe off where I got it onto the cup itself. So that way I don't have extra epoxy because you don't want any big bubbles or anything else. You're not gonna put the you're not gonna be able to put the plastic around it. Then I'm gonna suck up more and I'm gonna keep doing that until I get all the way around the cup. And you want to make sure you have a good amount of epoxy in there. Like a good amount to make sure that you get it sealed. Because if you don't, and it's not sealed, you can't get it off with epoxy. You can use glue too, like, um, I honestly don't even know what glues they use. I know that some people use silicone. I've tried silicone, silicone did not work for me. Um, I just could not figure it out. So I didn't stay with trying to figure it out. I just started doing this route. And I figured out by using this the pump to put it in, I can fill it better and control where it goes and make sure that I get it everywhere in the process. So find your niche that works for you. I'm just showing you mine and hopefully if you haven't been able to seal these or you want to seal these that this helps you with a new way to do it. And I just keep going around 
until it's almost to the top. Not quite to the top, but almost. And then once I completely go around, oh, I missed a spot. Yeah, a little bit more. Um, once I go around the whole thing, and I know that I went around it at least once, I'm going to set this aside for a minute. I'm going to lean it up against something and hopefully it'll be cool. Okay, this is where your popsicle stick comes in. <clears throat> All I do is I very carefully go around pushing in my popsicle stick. You don't want to push too hard or too fast or any of that because it'll push your epoxy out the side. You just want to try to help get those air bubbles out, the big air bubbles. Because if it's there and you don't have epoxy in all of it, you're not going to have a good seal. So I just go around the whole thing, make sure that I tuck, tuck it in. And this will also tell you if you've missed any spots. Like if you need to add more or whatever because the popsicle stick is helping you push it down into that crevice to get a nice good seal. It's okay if it goes on the stainless steel, don't stress, you can get it off. Like if you don't see it right away and you put it on and then it dries, just take an X-Acto knife to it. It won't do anything. So I have a good amount of epoxy in there at this point. You guys can see it. It's all the way around it. Then I carefully, I did get it everywhere. It's all running down the sides. I gotta stand up, hang on. So I put on the outside of it and I push down. I push down on it. This is going to push out some epoxy. And I lean on it for a minute. I just make sure that I've pushed it down really well. Okay, so if you see that epoxy came out, get some paper towels and some alcohol. Wet your paper towels, okay? Carefully pick up your cup and put your hand on the inside of it and wipe the outside. Try to keep it, let me sit back down so you guys can see. Try to keep it as straight up and down as you can so that epoxy doesn't move too much in there. And then I just go around it with the alcohol and the paper towel. I'm sure some will end up on the outside and it'll dry. I'm not too worried about it. I just take an X-Acto knife to it and make sure that I get it all off at the end after everything is dry and sealed, like the bottom and all. Okay, with the fast set, it's generally dry within like four or five hours. I leave mine overnight. Now that I've got the outside clean, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a twist to make sure that it is completely on there. Then I'm gonna push with both hands to make sure I have a nice seal. So the reason I add so much epoxy on there is because then I can see it. I can see where it is right above the stainless steel. Cause I wanna see it. I wanna make sure that it is all the way around the cup and I have a fantastic seal on it. That's what I do. So next I'm gonna set this aside. So this is where this one's gonna be a little different. So I have one that I already sealed the bottom to and I just need, or the top to. Um, that's already been sealed. All I need to do now is add the liquid, which this is a serial killer one, so I'm going to make it bloody. So in that case, I'm gonna have the baby oil I'm gonna use red paint and glycerin. And then I'm also 
going to end up using one of these at the end after it is completely sealed and dried. I will make a part two for you guys because I want to make sure that my bottom is sealed on before I add any more liquid to it. So in a little measuring cup, that's where I'm going to mix my glycerin and a little bit of paint. It's just red paint, nothing fancy. It's from Walmart, it's like 50 cents. I'm gonna mix it in. And you can add as much as you want, make it as dark as you want. I usually just add like a glob to it. That's all I do. So I am going to use Sorry, I'm making sure this is all mixed up. So that's not too red, so I think I'm going to add a little bit more to make sure that it has a nice bloody color to it for the serial killer cup. She wants it to look like dripping blood. So I'm making sure I get a nice mix to it. Okay, so the reason I like the paint is because it coagulates like real blood in the glycerin. That is why I choose acrylic paint. It gives it a more blood look, I guess you would say. So that's why I use it. Just making sure it's nice and mixed up. Next, I am going to dump it carefully. I really should use a syringe for this. Into the cup. And you want it to go slowly because you don't want it to overflow. So you just go slowly dumping it in. It's not a race. And with these cups, the blood cup with the glycerin and the baby oil, they separate from each other, so it gives it a lava lamp look, if you're old enough to know what that is. It gives it a lava lamp, and you can mix up more if you want. I usually just do one measuring cup full because it's generally enough for these, but this is a 20 ounce. For a 30 ounce, I'd probably do like one and a half, but for a 20 ounce, this seems to be like a good amount for it. Let's see, this is one measuring cup. It's a nice amount for it because you don't want it to go too high and then sh block all of your pictures. So next, this is gonna seal. This is gonna cure before I'm able to use it again because I'm talking and doing it at the same time. But whatever, I'll just mix more. So I really guys I really want you guys to know this. Okay, so next with the baby oil, this is how I do it. Again, like I said every video, there's no right way, there's no wrong way, there's your way. This is how I do it. I'm going to tip my cup. I don't want the baby oil to get in here. It is not gonna seal. So I don't want the baby oil to touch it. So if I can keep it from touching it, that is better for me. So I know you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm very carefully and slowly putting this in here. Just because I really don't want it to touch where I need it to seal. Because baby oil is the devil. And once it's on there, like anybody that's touched this stuff knows that it's really hard to get off of things. Like, I know it's really good for skin and all that or whatever, but for cups, it makes it a pain to seal. All right, so I'm going to test the sandwiches in there. So you can see that it's separated from the glycerin, so there's not very much in there because I am doing this painfully slow to make sure that it doesn't get on anything. Mm 
You can go ahead and fast forward if you want because this is kind of a pain, I know. It's really boring. Let me get this in, then I'll be right back. Okay, so I ended up using a measuring cup to um, kind of make it go a little faster. Um, no reason in lying about that. So I did do that just like I did the glycerin. I figured it would go a little faster if I did it that way, and it did. So I went ahead with that. And of course it went all over the table because it's the double juice. Okay, like I said, do not let it touch anywhere you want to seal your cup. I did get a little bit on the outside, so hopefully I can get this off pretty easy. I got it on the plastic when I was pouring it with the bottle. Um, so I'm really hoping I can get it off pretty easy. Because this stuff is seriously the devil. I'm not even gonna lie. It will make it a pain to seal your cup. I don't know what those girls do that make it look so easy because it really is not. I really don't know what they do. It's not easy at all. This is like my third time trying it with baby oil. Every time it is not sealed. It is a pain. I hate it. But I really like the effect of it. So I keep trying. Alright. I feel like that's as good as it's going to get. Oh good. I don't feel it anymore. I think I just had gotten a little bit on it, so I don't feel it anymore. So I did not let the baby oil get anywhere on the metal so that I can seal it. So this is where I end up. See, this is already starting. I'm not going to have enough time to work that. So I'm going to have to do more epoxy, of course. Mix it really quick. I'm going to do the same amount, about 15 ml. Like I said... I would rather have too much than not enough. But again, that is me. So it really just depends on what you want to do. I'm just mixing it really quick, hang on. I am not going to tip this cup or anything like that until after the epoxy is dry on the bottom just because the baby oil will not let it seal if it does. I've used it in my Starbucks snow globes and I could not get it to seal to save my life. Like it did not work because I had gotten it on the outside when I was putting it in the little, in the hole, it would not seal. I had to throw it away. It was a pain and I gave up because it made me mad. Okay. So my epoxy is mixed. I actually probably mixed way too much, but whatever. Um, so again, I'm going to use a syringe to do this because I can get it into the areas that I want. I want to make sure that I don't give any in get any into that little hole that I had shown you guys earlier because you're going to need that later. So try really hard not to get it in that hole or anywhere near that hole. Um, so there's glitter in it. Oh. I'm going to use the syringe to go around the lid just like I did with the bottom into where it actually meets with the acrylic. So that one, I only do a little bit with. Then I'm going to tap it down to make sure. I'm going to take a popsicle stick and I'm going to go around the edges. And go around the edges with it and make sure that it's pushed down. Again, stay away from that little hole. Don't go near that hole. You are definitely going to need that. At least if you do it my way. You're going to need that hole later. So then this is where 
I make sure that everything is completely sealed up. I'm going to take a bunch of this epoxy and I'm going to put it into this middle part right here. So I want to make sure no liquid gets in. And this is why I said you can mix a bunch because a lot of it you're going to use. So I'm going to make sure that it gets completely full. And shove my measuring or my little stick in there to make sure that it is full. So I don't want nothing in there at all. No liquid, nothing. No glitter, nothing. Okay, then I'm gonna go around the little crease right here. This is just how I do mine. I am a little bit paranoid with these cups because if you do it wrong, like I said, you can't open it again. So I'm super paranoid with this. Then I go around the inside where I'm gonna screw it on. I'm gonna put a bunch in there and then I'm just gonna kinda twist it around where the screw on part is and make sure that I have it everywhere. And then I have a good amount. So it is sealed, sealed once this epoxy is dry. I'm just kind of twist it around in there so I have a good amount. All right. So once you get everything in, it should look like this. You should have epoxy all the way around the rim and on the inside where it twists on and holds onto your cup. I went around it completely where it's going to attach the cup. So to make sure that the epoxy doesn't get anywhere, I'm going to quickly flip my lid and screw it onto the cup to make sure that I get a nice seal. And I'm going to twist until you literally start to feel it not want to twist anymore. You want to make sure that you got that nice and tight. If you twist too far, it'll literally pop and then you got to start over. So you don't want to twist too far. Once it's on there, set it aside and wait 24 hours. After your 24 hours, take your syringe, use the sharp part and put it into that little hole with your extra liquid, whether it's the baby oil, the glycerin, whatever you're using. Use that little hole to fill it all the way up. You can literally fill it all the way up. There is no reason to have this big of a bubble into the, there's no reason for that. You can fill it all the way up. You just got to have the patience to do it. That is how I seal my stainless steel glow, steel glow ups. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments. Um, I will happily answer all that for you. Other than that, I will make sure that I get my part two posted of my snowflake snow globe for you guys tomorrow and i hope that you guys enjoyed the video and that i helped you be able to accomplish some beautiful snow globes i will see you all later bye